This is Benjamin Davis with Cointelegraph's blockchain news update. While the whole world seems to be freaking out that World War III is going to happen as a result of Donald Trump's Twitter war with Kim Jong-un, it seems like South Korea might be the only ones who aren't that concerned about it. They're actually planning ahead by partnering with Samsung to implement blockchain technology into their government systems by 2022. Everything will be working more efficiently, more securely, and have a much more transparent system. So no matter what happens, it doesn't seem like they're that concerned. Watching Bitcoin's price go up and up and up and up is a lot like watching a horse race where it turns out that your favorite horse, Look at my horse. My horse is, amazing. is actually a bull and it's pulled ahead and it's going for the finish. And that seems to be how mainstream media is treating this, like Bitcoin is just almost at its peak. But it's important to remember that this is a long race, it can go a lot further. And it's not like the other horses in this race are just show ponies. You have Ethereum whose prices are up, you have Litecoin whose prices are up, and there's a lot of race left to run. So how far do you think Bitcoin is gonna go and who's your favorite pony in the race? With some good news and bad news, it seems that Qcoin is gonna be reimbursing investors who after investing in Confido, where they were left with a $347,000 hole in their heart when all of that up and just disappeared. Now, this is an important reminder. This story should shine a light on the fact that ICOs can be scams and you always should be doing your homework before putting your money anywhere. This has been Benjamin Davis with our blockchain news update. Don't forget to subscribe and visit us at Cointelegraph.com.